Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video, Wednesday, May 25th. We are uh, getting set for the last, or what should be, the last severe weather event, potentially, for Alabama for the spring 2011 tornado season, which, needless to say, is historic. And we can be thankful it's winding down, but we got to get through tonight and tomorrow. But this afternoon, it is bright, sunny, and hot. There's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. Many spots are in the low 90s this afternoon, warmer than the past couple of days, and the sky is sunny. Hardly a cloud in the sky there. We'll check the uh, camera coming from Mount Chihaw, Chihaw State Park. A bright, sunny day there. And way down south, another Alabama treasure that's uh, coming from Gulf Shores, the uh, Phoenix All Suites, right by the public beach, bright, sunny. And you bet the crowds will be huge down there for the Memorial Day weekend. If you're beachbound, great weather. Could be a few scattered storms tomorrow and then again Friday. But other than that, dry weather through early next week with highs on the immediate coast in the low and mid-80s. The ocean water temperature running about 79 this afternoon down at Gulf Shores. There's a big upper low that's located near Kansas City, and that produced another wicked tornado outbreak last night. And already, big storms are forming out ahead of that. But, of course, around here, one more dry and very warm day. Temperatures, upper 80s, low 90s. Birmingham at 91 at uh, 2 o'clock. Tuscaloosa, 90, upper 80s for Anniston and Gadsden. Yeah, a lot of things happening. Wind advisory for parts of central and west Alabama. Tornado watches. Uh, blanket the area from the Mid-South up to uh, parts of Ohio and Indiana. We'll check the closest watch. This is a watch until 10 o'clock tonight for the Mid-South. That includes Memphis, uh, North Mississippi, West Tennessee, much of Arkansas, including Little Rock. And we'll be watching those storms you see on the uh, southern end of that line increasing in intensity in the next hour or two. In fact, already there's a tornado warning for that northernmost storm in Arkansas. Of course, many tornado warnings in effect for Missouri. I mean, a bunch. All right, the convective outlook, another high risk, two in a row, back to back. High risk from Little Rock and Memphis up to uh, Paducah, Bowling Green, Cape Girardeau, almost to Indianapolis. Surrounding that, a moderate risk from near El Dorado, Arkansas, to Indianapolis. And then the slight risk from eastern Texas up to the Great Lakes. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk is in effect for a pretty good chunk of Alabama up to the Great Lakes, the uh, eastern Great Lakes. And again, there is no enhancement in there. The 15% probabilities, that is standard. And of course, we'll look at the severe weather threat for Alabama in detail. Then on day three, which is uh, Friday, got a couple of slight risk areas, one to the northeast and one small one back to the west. But around here, after tomorrow, we'll be dry for a while. QPF chart, and because of that, we'll take all the rain we can get. Rainfall deficiencies are starting to add up. And this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about uh, one inch for the northwestern corner of the state down to maybe a quarter inch in the far southern part of the state. Numbers have come down a little bit. We still think we'll get rainfall amounts of at least one half inch tomorrow, maybe one inch on the high end. All right, let's dig a little bit. This is the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow. There's your trough. And again, synoptically speaking, that's pretty favorable for severe weather here. And down below that, a weakening surface low is north of us. It's broad with a trailing band of showers and storms. Now let's dig uh, deeper into the G, uh, RPM. This is 11 o'clock tonight. Now this run is a little faster. All of a sudden it's got storms in northwest Alabama before midnight tonight. And so we'll have to watch that. We might have a window opening up maybe as early as 10 or 11 o'clock for the Shoals and Hamilton and Russellville, Hackleburg, places like that. In that first batch of storms, that's when we'll have to watch for any tornado activity as the leading edge of this stuff late tonight. All right, this is 5 a.m. tomorrow. Now, the, the RPM is drier. It's really got the storms confined to the Tennessee Valley and really nothing happening down here. But that's kind of an outlier. Most models have shown storms reaching Tuscaloosa and Birmingham by 5 a.m. True, they should be weakening by then. But I think that initial window will be from about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight until 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. The greatest chance of severe weather uh, in areas north and west of Birmingham. Main threat, hail and straight line winds. But an isolated tornado you can't rule out. 11 o'clock, the next big development, big next big question mark is the redevelopment. And the model shows 
storms redeveloping. And then by 4 o'clock, there could be some strong storms tomorrow afternoon, especially south and east of Birmingham. By then, northwest Alabama should be in drier air. And then by midnight tomorrow night, everything's well to the south and east. So a good chance of strong to severe storms late tonight, early tomorrow. The next question involves the secondary development of any uh, severe weather tomorrow afternoon. And we'll keep an eye on that. We'll check the STP. This is the significant tornado parameter valid uh, just after midnight tonight. This is 1 a.m. And clearly the numbers are higher. You've got an STP now of over three for a pretty good chunk of northeast and east central Mississippi. And numbers over two over northwest Alabama. Keep in mind, anything over one is significant. Again, nothing like April 27th, if you recall, that uh, was an event where the STP was pegged at 10. Not the case this time, but that is significant. And then by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, we've still got the enhanced STP values over West Alabama. And again, the, the units are over three. So that's one reason we're thinking there could be a tornado warning late tonight after midnight through early tomorrow morning. And then by tomorrow afternoon on the redevelopment side, you can see that everything is under one. And that, so as the upper support lifts away, clearly the best chance of any tornado activity would be late tonight, early tomorrow morning. If storms do refire tomorrow afternoon, more than likely hail and strong winds would be the main threat. In the Craven Brooks Index, this is from our friend Jeff Craven. It's a combination of shear and instability. And again, this is a good thunderstorm development tool. This is valid uh, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Numbers are pretty high. Again, they're clearly higher than they have been over uh, 35,000 units, and, and that's significant. And then by 4 o'clock, numbers are still fairly high, so we might have some redevelopment. But again, the tornado threat tomorrow afternoon would seem to be low at this point. So uh, potential for two rounds of storms, one late tonight, early tomorrow, another one tomorrow afternoon. If we are going to see a few tornadoes, it looks like for now the greatest threat would be with that morning batch of storms, probably before the sun comes up. So it'll be a night to have your weather radio up and working and programmed properly and have the battery back up, and we'll be here all night if we do have any issues, and we'll be on, on the television side. We'll go to Friday. Everything's winding down. The uh, moisture axis is off to the east, and I don't think there's any need to mention any chance of rain on Friday. I know at one point we had the chance of a lingering shower. That's out of here. Highs, uh, mid-80s, the GFS showing 84, and for the holiday weekend, hot and dry as the ridge rebuilds. There's Saturday, will be close to 90, Sunday sunny, low 90s, and Monday, look at the 588 ridge flexing its muscle over the east, an anti-cyclone right on top of us, and that's hot and dry with low 90s for Memorial Day, so... After this round of storms, late tonight and tomorrow, everything is quiet for the holiday weekend. Tuesday, everybody goes back to work. Same thing, hot and dry. Deep cyclone moving up into Canada, north of International Falls. And on Wednesday, the trailing front kind of you know runs out of gas, but it might be close enough maybe for a shower over the Tennessee Valley. But with a ridge, I just don't think you need to mention that. It's only a very small chance. Uh, and that, by the way, is June 1st, the beginning of meteorological summer. A few days later, June 4th, 588 Ridge covers much of the nation. And, uh, you know, if anything, with a deal like that, there might be a ring of fire effect where storms form on the periphery of that. It may be something trying to drift down here from the north, but I'd say that looks pretty unlikely. And on June 10th, the uh, ridge beat down a little bit. We got this big, deep upper low off the coast of Maine. But again, the winds aloft are light and variable, and that still looks dry. And so clearly, after this event, late tonight and tomorrow, tornado season winding down. Things look awfully quiet beyond that for quite a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, don't forget, watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.